We continue to face uh, the challenge of aid getting to and into Gaza, but then not uh, being able to be distributed effectively because uh, principally of uh, real security challenges. And so when it comes to making sure that food, water, medicine, uh, and other basic necessities uh, that the Palestinian people need just to survive, uh, get to them, uh, we continue to have important work to do. Um, it's good that uh, and important that Israel is addressing these very concrete needs, but uh, they have to be implemented. It's been a very uh, tough and difficult period for the civilians in Gaza, and of course also the families of the Israeli hostages who continue to leave, live with deep uncertainty about the fate of their loved ones. But the focus of my mission is on the civilians in Gaza, to get the volume, the quality, and the predictability of assistance that they so desperately need, uh, given uh, the fact that they've left their homes, 1.9 million people are displaced, they survive in tents, uh, there's absence of almost anything anyone could possibly imagine. So it's our task indeed, not only to get the aid to Gaza, but also to have the ability to distribute this safely and securely. And I'm not only saying this for the United Nations family, it's also for the NGOs that risk their lives every day with, in their presence, Palestinian NGOs as much as the international NGOs.